Welcome back, everybody. We are in the second part of the chapter three into the chapter questions. We've already done uh, numbers one or 21, uh, 23, 24, and 28. So we're going to start with number 22, which is a, a ranking question. You're supposed to rank them based on different criteria. So the question says, the three pucks are sliding across ice at the noted speeds. So A is at 2 meters per second, B is at 4 meters per second, C is 6 meters per second. Air resistance and ice friction are negligible, so you can disregard that. Rank them from greatest to least by the force needed to keep them going. Okay, so what force is needed to keep them going uh, once they're sliding? If there is no friction, what would you say? This is a lot like where when the astronaut throws the rock or throws the hammer. If there is no force, once it leaves his hand, there's no more force on it at all. And it continues to move forever. It's in equilibrium. There's no forces acting on it. It moves in a straight line in a con constant speed forever unless it's acting upon by another force. Okay, so if it's moving along at 2 meters per second and it's never slowing down because if ice... If ice friction is negligible, it means you can ignore it. It means there's no, no friction. It'll never stop. It'll always go two meters per second. Likewise, four, likewise, six. So there for all of them, this number A, all of them are equal. So A is going to be equal to B is equal to C because once they're moving, it, there is no force required to keep them moving. They'll, they'll never stop unless another force stops them like friction. Number B says, rank them from greatest to least by the force needed to stop them. Okay, now that's a different question. Um, which one has, uh, which one is harder to stop? This one's going two meters per second. This one's four. This one's six. Okay, so I assume the three pucks are of the same mass. But once you start getting into speed, You've got mass and speed together playing together. We're going to call that momentum later. Which would be harder to stop? What would you think? Would it be uh, hard, harder to stop something that's going faster or harder to stop something that's going slower if it's the same speed or same mass? I would assume it's C. I would say it's harder to stop C. Okay. Then, it's, then next harder it would be to B. And then the easiest to stop would be A because it's going the, the uh, lowest speed. So number 25 is our next one. Calculate in Newtons the weight of 2.5 kilogram melon. All right, if you remember, kilograms is mass. That's already good. So we didn't even have to turn that from pounds into kilograms. And weight is in, for, is in Newtons. Okay, weight is in Newtons of force. And it's going to be the kilograms times the acceleration of gravity. So let's just use the acceleration of gravity uh, to be 10. You remember this is 10 newtons per kilogram. And I've got here a 2.5 kilogram melon. That's going to cancel. Your answers are in newtons. And I have 2.5 times 10. So that's going to give me 250 um, That'll give me 250 newtons. Okay, so there's the first one, 250. Now I need to know how many pounds is that. All right. Well, to go from newtons to kilograms, remember a, a, a kilogram times an, a, a kilogram uh, times gravity is a newton. So to get back to kilograms, you have to divide by gravity. So that's going to be 10. So that's going to give you 25. Okay. Um, hmm, have I made a mistake? I don't, maybe I didn't put my decimal point. This was 2.5 times 10 is not 250, it's 25. I'm sorry about that because there was a, de there should have been a decimal there. So the, this is tw 25. Newtons, 25 Newtons, and if I want to get back to kilograms, I have to divide by 10. That gives me 2.5 kilograms, 
And if I want to get that to pounds, I have to take one kilogram in 2.2 pounds. Okay, 2.2 pounds, and that will give me, what, five and a half pounds? Five and a half pounds, Mellon. Okay. 26 says, um, an apple weighs about one newton. What is its mass in kilograms? All right, so, an, uh, so a newton divided by 9.8 times 10, or 9.8, which we'll just round to 10, would give you kilograms. All right, so we're going to divide by gravity. Gravity is 10. So gravity times kilograms is newtons, so newtons divided by gravity is going to be kilograms. So, so this would be 1 newton divided by 10 will give you 0.1 kilograms. 0.1 kilograms. Now what's its weight in pounds? 1 kilogram and 2.2 pounds. Okay, that's going to give you 0.1 times 2.2, that gives you 0.22 pounds. Okay.